So there's one more tool I want to install because I use it quite a bit throughout the course as my go-to note editor. And I'll talk some alternatives as well, but I just want to make sure that you have it installed and you have it at your disposal if you want to use it. It's not the only text editor in Linux, and I'll show you those options. But that tool is going to be called gedit. So if you just do apt install gedit like this, actually let's do a sudo apt install like that, enter in our password, and then go ahead and just hit enter for yes. We're gonna let this install, and it should be pretty quick. Now, what this is going to allow us to do is just have a text editor option. You're gonna see this in use in the next video, but we get to say gedit test.txt as an example, and it'll bring up this text editor. Plain and simple, that's all it is. Now you'll get some warnings like this. If you see a warning, just ignore it. Don't even worry about it. As long as you're able to get into the text editor and edit, that's fine. I'm gonna close this out without saving. Another thing that you can do is you can use mouse pad and just say test.txt, that's fine. And you can use nano test.txt, same thing. And you'll see these throughout the course. So don't worry about having to memorize them right now. But there's a few different text editing options. I just wanted to install gedit and show you gedit because I use it so much throughout the course and they removed it from Kali Linux in 2020.1, I believe. So I just want you to be familiar with it and know how to use it if you want to. So that's it. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next video.